morning. Today is Tuesday, May 12th, 2015. I'm Carla Correa. Tom Brady has been suspended by the NFL and the Patriots fined $1 million. And I'm Marlene Vences. Seniors, three more days and your time here is done. Are you ready? Your CSN News starts now. Today in Nepal, the ground shook again. But it soon became clear that this was no mere aftershock, scary though those have been. This was another major earthquake, the kind where you run for your life, where you seek any open area so nothing falls on your head and you don't get trapped under the rubble. Measuring over seven on the Richter scale, the quake violently jolted the already devastated country. No word yet on injuries or damage. The NFL has suspended Super Bowl MVP Tom Brady without pay for the first four games of the season, fined the New England Patriots a million dollars, and taken away two draft picks as punishment for deflating footballs used in the AFC title game, the league said in a statement on Monday. The NFL also indefinitely suspended the two equipment staffers believed to have carried out the, the plan, including the one who called himself the deflator. Brady will miss the season's showcase kickoff game September 10th against Pittsburgh, week two at Buffalo, a home game against Jacksonville, and a game at Dallas. Sea levels over the past two decades have risen faster than previously thought, suggests a new study that re reassesses the accuracy of satellite data. The study by an international team of scientists published, in Monday, published Monday in Nature Climate Change compares satellite records of sea levels made from 1993 to mid-2014 to tide gauge records. Lead author and geophysicist Christopher Watson says the study results address an ongoing puzzle, puzzle about sea level rise. Previous studies based on tide gauge or satellite data alone have suggested a slowing in the rate of sea level rise over the past decade relative to the one before it. We'll be right back after these messages. Starting in 2010 with the FIFA World Cup, ESPN 3D was born. In its three-year run, it telecast over 85 3D sporting events. You have an opportunity to hold a piece of this history for as little as 25 cents. Stop Brock Woods, Kylie Horsley, or Mr. Allen to help get them to Louisville. They will be raffling off a 2x5 ESPN 3D poster fit for any sports lover. Help send our state champs to nationals. It's getting warm outside and you know what that means. It's time to start planning your garden. Why don't you come down to the FFA Greenhouse? We have a broad selection of flowers, herbs, vegetables, succulents, and hanging baskets. Sales begin on May 1st and continue through May the 13th. We have been working hard all semester to ensure healthy, high quality plants. The FFA Greenhouse is located at Columbia High School right behind the ProTech building. Come down and support your local FFA chapter. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Smile is your first impression, make it a good one, and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high 73 with a low of 49 and partly sunny. Tomorrow's high 68 with a low of 46 and thunderstorms. The Spring Choir Concert is tonight at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Admission is free. See the orange or blue fires around the school for more information. There's a mandatory meeting for anyone interested in playing football next year. Tomorrow in the weight room from 1.45 to 2.15. If you ride the bus, please make arrangements to get a ride home after the meeting. Are you interested in making a lifelong friend from Europe? Are you interested in being a tour guide and representative of your country? Nampa School District will be hosting 25 exchange students from Germany for three th weeks next fall. If you are interested in hosting a foreign exchange student, please see Mr. Neto in room A132 for more information. The baseball banquet will be tonight in the cafeteria from 6 to 8.30 p.m. Varsity and JV are to bring the main dish and the freshman and freshman A dessert and the baseball program of Pride drinks. See the Facebook post or co coach Tim if you have any further questions. Please you use the bus entrance and not the main school entrance to enter the cafeteria. Seniors, you are invited to attend baccalaureate tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at the NNU Brandt Center. Students are to arrive at 6.30 with your cap and gown. Today's SAT word of the day is paucity, which means fewness and scarcity. You could use it this way. A paucity of potatoes led to the potato famine in Ireland. Thanks for watching, and remember, if the news breaks, we'll fix it. <laughs>